Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. It's your first time on the channel? Welcome on this channel. You find truck and SUV news, reviews, interesting, interesting stories I do. So hit subscribe, stick around. I'm doing a whole series on truck shopping. I'm currently in the market for a new truck for the channel. I'm planning on buying it, driving for a year, and selling it after a year. I've gone through the listing of different trucks. I have a whole series in this. Which ones I'm buying, which ones I'm not buying, which ones I ruled out, which ones I'm kind of still thinking about. And so check that series out above. I'll link to that above. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about insurance. I keep getting asked about insurance in the comments, and yes, it is a real part of the buying decision. Yeah, you only have, you have the payments, but you also have the insurance as well. And so there's a lot of factors involved in buying a new vehicle. And I've bought several over the years, so I'm kind of well versed in how this all works. But I thought it'd be interesting to show you on the screen what I'm finding for differences in insurance, and the results are pretty darn surprising. I was pretty shocked by some of these numbers that came out of the system for the insurance. Now, if you've followed along, I've kind of narrowed it down to the like F-150, the new one, the new hybrid. I'm kind of thinking about that, that vehicle because it has uh, a lot of good traffic around it. A lot of people are interested in the hybrid. I mean, there's just a lot of good business reasons behind it. And I think that it'll tow what I want to tow with it. It'll be able to haul what, I'm gonna haul, what I want to haul with it. Um, I've done, we've done a first drive that Jill had and she towed pretty well with that. And she was fairly confident in, in towing with that. Um, not as good as like I say a diesel or something, but Overall, that was pretty good. But I'm gonna stop blabbering because I'm gonna show you on the screen what my insurance results are. So I'm gonna type in my insurance results from, we use Geico and I'm gonna type in the VIN numbers and get the quotes. Now the biggest caveat to insurance is everybody's insurance varies. That's why it's so hard to sometimes do videos on this because your driving record, your credit history sometimes, your insurance company you use. I mean, it's just so many variables involved in insurance. But I'll show you what mine is on the screen. And then I'll be curious to get your comments on how shocked you are on these results. Let's go ahead and get to it on the screen. It's pretty, pretty darn interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this insurance. I have two trucks pulled up. I have a 2021 Ford F-150, the XLT here. I think I'd probably actually go by. And this 2020 I found with only like 20, almost 2,300 miles on it. Quite a good price in that one from the MSRP to what the price is now. So uh, two comparable, like a 2020 and 2021. So new versus used. Uh, wife and I do use Geico, so I thought I'd go in here and just add a vehicle. I tried to add multiple vehicles, but it doesn't quite work that well. It doesn't break things down. So I'm just going to add one at a time. Uh, private passenger. I have a VIN. Now, this VIN is probably not going to work, and that's because dealers get these VINs early before they actually the vehicle is actually built. And so a lot of times it doesn't show up in the system because it hasn't been actually registered yet into any system. So we'll just type this information in. It should give me a quote what this is, 2020 F-150. Um, I scroll too fast. Body style is four-wheel drive pickup, 1122, 2020. No replacement. It is financed. I'm the first owner. Okay, primary use, let's just say pleasure. I'll drive it the most and we'll save that. And there we go. We have my 62, the wife's Mazda and that vehicle as well. So we'll just save that and we'll say get quote. Okay, so I'd add a thousand dollars over six months. Okay, so a uh, thousand divided by six months, $167 a month. Okay, that's for the 2021, 167. Let's go back and let's uh, put this 2020 in. Let's see the differences. Okay, I'd like to add a vehicle. No. Yes, and this this VIN will probably work just because it is registered. It's a real VIN. It's not like a mysterious VIN like the other one was. And look at that. See, it works. So 11, 22, 20, 20. No replacement. No replacement. And we'll scroll down. And we talk about, let's see, financed. Financed, yep. And first owner, yep. So we'll kind of go through this. It's, and it's nice with Geico here. It makes it, you know, easy to use the system to get a good idea of what the prices are going to be. And so when you're out shopping like I am, it's like, hey, you know, I want to know what, what my price is going to be when I buy this truck. I want the whole price. I don't want just the payment price. I want the insurance price too. Good quote. 
So the 20, this, this is the 2020 F-150. The 2021 was $1,000. This one, look at this. This one is more. So, because that's, that's really surprising that the, the used truck would be more. And it could be just that VIN doesn't make sense. So let's, let's see if we can't find another VIN. Let me go back over here. New trucks. Let me look just 2020s. Or 2021, excuse me. Okay, so let's, uh, let's grab a different one. Let's grab this uh, XLT. This one looks like it actually exists. Okay. So let's try this one. This is, this is pretty interesting. That's really surprising that the used truck would be more expensive. Um, like to add a vehicle. Multiple, no. Yes. Let's see if this works. Yes, that one works. All right, so that VIN works. So maybe it's a situation where the VIN just being funny. Let's say I bought it today. No replacement. Vehicles financed. First owner. Yes. And again, I mean, so I picked this one, or that one's 39,000, almost 40,000 for the used one. This is the, this new one here is the one I just put in, and that one's 54,000. So $15,000 difference. Pleasure, same myself, same mileage, same, same mileage on that vehicle. And that's, I don't know why I have to keep saving this. Just go, get a quote. Okay, yeah, I thought that was weird. I mean, but isn't that weird too? So this one gave me a different quote, and this one is 11, 11.41. So 11.41.40, and the other one was 11.18. So 11, 1,118 minus 1,141. The difference is $23 a month, 23, between the new one and the used one with $15,000 worth of difference. There you go, there are my results for insurance for buying the 2021 F-150 versus buying that much cheaper version of the 2020 F-150. I mean, you got $15,000 difference and the price was $23 difference. I think look at my, my form right now, $23, that's it. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, you always get these thoughts in your head that, oh my gosh, the insurance is gonna be outrageous, but. I, what I've seen a lot of times happen is sometimes newer trucks have be better safety ratings because they have newer safety equipment. There's new mandatory safety equipment in these things. So it, and insurance is, to me, insurance is just a big gray area. Sometimes their quotes just don't make any sense to me. Sometimes they do. I thought that was a really interesting to see those different prices. So again, put your comments down below. Are you surprised by the price? You know, I'm sure you guys pay different amounts. Are you guys shocked by the numbers? Are you, does it turn you off buying a truck? Does it say... That's not that bad. I mean, I'm looking at uh, 180 bucks, 190 bucks a month extra. So I'm looking at the truck's probably gonna be 700 to 750 a month for a payment, plus another couple hundred bucks there for insurance. So I'm looking at probably a thousand bucks. That's what it's gonna end up costing me to buy a new half ton truck each month. Yeah, it's pretty crazy too. <laughs> I remember when trucks used to not be nearly that much money. But anyways, I hope you stick around and follow along. Again, hit subscribe, stick around. I'm going to do the whole shopping experience when I go buy it. I'm going to go drive it home, the whole experience, and the whole six months of ownership and a year of ownership. And I'll do the video when I'm going to sell it too and we'll talk about how much I lost or how much I made. We'll see how that works. Anyways, check this other video out over here. Video website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.